The tragic case of Christian Idol, betrayal, abduction, and a grim discovery. In a heartbreaking tale of betrayal and loss, Christiana Ido's disappearance on August 2024 shocked her family and the nation. What began as an ordinary day took a devastating turn when she left for her industrial training destination, Unilag, and never returned home, and chilling demands that were made to her family. As investigators worked tirelessly to track down the perpetrators, a horrifying truth unfolded. Christiana's supposed friend was not only involved but also responsible for her untimely death. Today on Top Niger Live, we shine light on the case that has captured the attention of the entire nation, a heartbreaking incident that has left us all searching for answers and demanding justice. On October 19th of August 2024, Christiana Idowu was declared missing after her single mom was contacted by her abductors using her own WhatsApp contact. The first contact was established around 8.49 p.m., after which they sent photos of the victim in captivity to a mom using the WhatsApp v ones feature. But it was later reported that the photo was taken after Christiana had been killed. The abductors requested for a ransom fee of 3 million naira. Christiana's mom raised 350,000 naira immediately. The abductors then requested that the money be sent to a bet account through a bank deposit channel. The abductor also requested that the bank statement of the sender be forwarded to his email. On the 23rd of August, the family complied to the request of the abductor. Immediately after that, the abductor stopped communicating with the family. Meanwhile, on the 22nd of August, some amount was sent to the GT Bank account of Christiana and the amount was then withdrawn into the Wema Bank account belonging to the main suspect. Investigation by intelligence operatives began on the 26th to unravel details of the account number. By the 29th, intelligence operatives had confirmation from the bank that the BVN linked to the masked betting account allegedly belonged to the account owner, who also operates the Wemer Bank. Further investigation revealed that he was able to withdraw the sum of 100,000 Naira from the betting account before agents got to the bet company to lock the account. Armed by this information, Operatives began investigation into the suspect, whom they observed to have a mutual relationship with Christiana Ido, especially judging by Instagram posts as they both commented on each other's pages. The crazy thing is, the same account number used to launder some amount directly from Christiana's account has been posted on Twitter once to beg for a giveaway free money. With all of this information at hand, the operatives began to track down his cell phone activities and text messages. The cell phone tracking led them to his parents' house somewhere in Ikorodu. Operatives then got confirmation of his presence in the building through active tracking of his mobile device. Immediately, gallant personnel of the Nigerian Army 174BN swooped in on the suspect to conduct arrest. After the arrest, damning evidences were seen with the suspect and this includes the victim's blue Artel A56 phone. Also on his phones are details of the money moved and also details confirming that he owns the betting account that was locked. It was registered with his phone number. On his phone also, they found an interaction between his personal email and the email address that has been interacting with the family of the deceased. After reviewing the evidence, the suspect was then taken into custody to enable the operatives conduct further investigations. Upon reviewing this evidence, suspect was successfully taken into custody for necessary action. On the 3rd of September, the suspect reportedly confessed to the father and the soldiers that he killed the girl and buried her in his house. 
There is also a new story awaiting further confirmation that in 2018, the same suspect's ex-girlfriend was killed in the same manner. Also that in 2020, the suspect's own biological sister met the same fate and the same thing has happened to Christiana here in 2024. It is not yet confirmed to take that like a grain of salt. The abductor's name is Ayomidia Dileye, the guy who made a parent cry, who sent a person with a bright future to her early grave. The guy who turned the whole nation upside down with his hideous crime, the devil in human form. As the investigation concludes, I hope he gets the punishment he deserves so the parents can get justice for their daughter and the nation can also get justice for Christiana. That is the most devastating news I've heard in recent times and investigation is still going on. Once it's over, we will be giving you guys any updates that comes to light. And let us all stay safe out there because the world is full of evil people. And that will be all for now. Join us next time on Top Naija Live. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video.